The Q hairstyle, or pigtail, was worn by Chinese men between the 1600s and the early 1900s. The Q was a hairstyle in which the front and sides of the head were shaved and the rest was plaited into a braid. In 1644, a Manchu army conquered China and thus the Qing dynasty born. It was then ordered that all Han Chinese men had to shave and braid their hair, except for Buddhist monks and Taoist priests. The Q was originally a symbol of submission but was also a sign of repression. The Qing dynasty used this to show their dominance in China. Traditionally, Chinese men and women grew their hair long and then styled it in elaborate ways. The Q denied them their cultural right to grow their hair. Many men were executed for refusing to shave their head, to show defiance against Qing rule. The policy of the Qing dynasty's Q was, lose your hair, keep your head, or lose your head, keep your hair. Not shaving your hair was treason against the emperor and was punishable by death. So, a Chinese man without a Q was the same as a dead man. Qing China was a diverse and complex society, with many ethnic groups, social classes, and political actors playing a part in the formation of modern China. The Manchu Qing, who were seen as foreign by many of the Han Chinese, had to make their government feel more legitimate. So, they enforced hair and clothing standards to create a sense of unity and be a part of Chinese culture. As the last dynasty of China, the Qing dynasty gloried for a time in the prosperity of its golden age, but later it had a history full of shame. Defeat in the Opium Wars, forced trade, unequal treaties and general decline dominated the latter Qing era. When the revolution of 1911 overthrew the Qing, clipping of the queue was an easy way to demonstrate where one's loyalty lay, but the chaos of the era could be seen in hairstyle choices as well. The last Qing emperor finally removed his queue in 1922, ten years after abdicating the throne. But the symbol lives on in popular conceptions of late imperial China.